ready for virtual travel. Yes, virtual reality travel is something that we're going to see a lot more of. And I would bet that many of you out there are going to be taking a look at that technology that's available. It actually has been around for years. Um, I, for one, have never really bought into the whole concept of putting on goggles and seeing things virtually. But, you know, in spite of what's going on right now with the airports closing and travel being such a questionable thing to most of us and um, there might actually be another alternative and that is to do virtual travel. So this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys today some of the things that um, are new to me, new to you in terms of virtual travel. Let's take a look. France on March the 17th, 2020. Arch de Triomphe, and what it looks like when you don't have any visitors and no tourists. Looks pretty sad. Almost every aspect of Machu Picchu is linked to the sacred beliefs of the Inca. Let me show you one of its most important buildings. Look down there. There's the Temple of the Condor. Let me bring it closer. was the battleground for one of the last valiant stands of the Inca people. The layers of the Eternal City go deep. Let me show you just how deep. Watch this. Down there is where the Stadium of Domitian stood. And here you get the sensation that you're about to fall over the edge. Don't push me! <laughs> so what did you think about that? Did you enjoy that journey that I took you on? Gave you an opportunity to take a look at parts of the world that maybe you have not gotten to or want to put on your bucket list or you have been there already and maybe you want to go back again. And whatever your reasons are, virtual reality does give you the opportunity to travel around the world and get to know different parts of the world in a different way. This is um, what I use. This is the virtual reality goggles. This one does come with earphones attached as well for that surround sound. Uh, very comfortable to wear and um, you do get used to it. It's a little bit weird at first. You can stand, you can sit, you can kneel, whatever you feel comfortable doing that makes it the best experience for you. These are pretty inexpensive actually. You can get them on Amazon for under $100. I really hope that you enjoyed that experience that you just went through. If you have any comments that you want to leave for me, 
great. Loved hearing from you guys and seeing those comments in the comment section down below. And as well as um, if this is your first time visiting this channel, please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell so that you know that I've just uploaded a new video because I'm here every week talking to you about travel. Thank you so much for joining me. Look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, don't forget, you gotta stay safe, you have to stay healthy, and you have to stay home for now. Look forward to seeing you. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. <laughs>